Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to part 2 to our beginner scripting in 2022 series. I hope you're excited. Today we're talking about variables. Super important. You're not going to want to miss a second of this video. So stick around to the end as I explain how they work. Variables are super important, like I said, and the best way I've heard them explained or can explain them myself is using a box. So when you use a box, you put items in it. Variables very simply store items like a box. Um, they store data for you, they can store the different data types we talked about, they can uh, store all kinds of things, and they are super helpful if you want to get anywhere in scripting. But right before we get into this, I do want to say to stick around to the end of the series because if this stuff doesn't seem like it's going to be helpful for a game, don't worry because at the end of the series I'm going to be making a game with you guys based on everything we learned and I'll show you how you can take what we've learned in little bits and apply it to actually making a game. So I hope you're excited for that. I ain't, I know I am. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into variables. So let's insert another script into server script service. And something you can do if uh, if you have more than one script, like right now, that we don't want to use, we just uh, have this print script from earlier, let's go ahead and click this, make sure that your um, Explorer and properties are open, and click disabled. You're going to want to disable it for now, that way it just, it basically what it does is it just doesn't run. So, how do you write a variable? Now, when you first write a variable, you reference it with a local tag. So when you first write your variable, ever in a script, okay, you call it, uh, you say local first, okay? That's just how you have to do it. Uh, it'll change a little bit when we get into functions or remote events and stuff like that. By the way, I forgot to rename this script so we can call this variable script real quick, just so we can do that. All right, so after local, um, you're gonna name your variable. So you're gonna name your box. Let's just say, um, we'll do a bool first, a bool variable first, and we'll just say local watching video. So this is the name of my variable. And then we can say equals and we can set the value of this. So remember we have the different data types I showed you. This one we're going to do a bool and we'll say true because I'm assuming if you are learning this right now, you're watching this video. So local watching video equals true. So the script now knows whenever we say watching video, we mean true, okay? Because it's just holding this information. Um, so what we can say is we can s print, so now we can just say w print watching video. And if we scroll up in the output, we can see it says true. So that is how we can use variables. We can also do other variables uh, like uh, strings and numbers. So we can say local uh, YouTube channel, and I'm just going to name it my channel, code row 29, and we can do it like this. So we uh, have a string now with this variable. Lastly, we can say local subscribers equals, and I think we're at about like 7,500 right now, so 7,500. Make sure you don't have a comma there or else it won't work. Um, but yeah, that is how we can do different variables, and we can print those out, we can do tons of things with those, when we get to if statements we'll be able to check the variables, so there's a lots, lots of things we can do. But now let me talk about when you use local and you don't, because I said when you uh, first create a variable you use local, and that is true um, most of the time. You can use global for certain things, but uh, when you're first writing a variable in a script, you're going to use local. After you've already defined a variable, we can actually change it. So let's just say print subscribers. So it'll print 7,500. But we can actually change this later without having to write local, and we can just say subscribers. Let's just say that we've grown our channel to 10,000 subscribers. So we can say subscribers equals 10,000. And then we can print subscribers again. So we can change our variables throughout the course of the script, and remember it goes down in order, so it'll print 7,500 and then 10,000. So if we scroll up in the output once again, we'll see what we have printed, 7,500 and then 10,000. So we can do that with tons of variables, we can use these to uh, check how many players there are in the game, and uh, we can check, we can actually use these to um, to say whether or not they have a certain game pass, something like that. So when we create variables, I want to show you this real quick. Uh, we can do that, but there are also different data types that where we can store values from those data types uh, other than just variables in a script. And those are actual game objects. So we can say a co we can come into replicated storage and click that plus icon like we add a script. But instead, and you can actually put this anywhere. It's just I'm putting it in replicated storage as the example. 
but we can do an int value. So go ahead and add that and we'll just name it. You can click the name instead of coming down to properties. Int value. Let's create another one. Let's do a string value. We'll name it string value. And lastly, let's create a bool value. And we'll name it bool value. So all of these can store a different type of data, bool, string, and, in, uh, and integer. So uh, for the bool, we can either check or uncheck true or false the value so the value is like the box okay um, it, or what's in the box so the value is either true or false for a bool for a string we can set it to whatever string we want hello world and then for an int we can set it to whatever number we want Okay, so those are variables and the and data types expanded. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do smash that subscribe button because it helps me out and you're not going to want to miss any of the future videos. Thanks for watching. If the next part is out, it'll be on the screen right now. Otherwise, uh, there there will be a different video replacing it. Before we leave, thank you so much to my first Patreon. Thank you for being a loyal Patreon. And if you want your name shouted out in the next video, then just become a Patreon today. Any tier will do that. You can also get access to the source code um, and project files with that. So uh, there's that. And then last but not least, make sure to join my Discord server. Links in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.